Hey guys, so today we built a trampoline for me, so here's the pictures, and first of all we have to unbox, so it is um, 8 feet, and yeah, that's the trampoline that we're going to be building, and then we cut it open with a knife. Well, I'm both open now, yeah? And then we unwrapped the trampoline and got all the little bars and other stuff to help make the trampoline. Yeah, show them instructions. And we're going to construct three of these as shown on the instructions at the bottom. Now this has to be part A. There is part A. Part B is different. It says part A. And that's what we're going to use. Take one of these. There are six of these. They're all the same. It doesn't matter which way and it's the same either way round doesn't matter and it goes on here like that but try putting it on it's hard so I am going to use a soft mallet like that and this one went on easy so I have to take this part A yeah. put it on pointing outwards and this bit goes at the top this bit goes at the bottom there's the hole for the bolts that hold it and will it go on there? Well, and you can actually, this one will go. And can I get a bit of coaxing? Get all the way down. So these are our three parts for stage one. So let's now look at step two. So this part here, this bracket, goes on in the same way as for stage one. And this part, which is a B, 6B part, goes on the bottom in the sa same way as stage one. We shall do that now, first of all. Mm -hmm. Now you see the problem. Clearly on this one. Goes down. That's the outside for this stick sword. So, go. You doing it? So, this has to go on here. And here you can see, clearly see a problem. I have to squeeze these in. I can't. That's why I'm using this mole wrench with curved ends to pull that in. If you haven't got one of these, you're going to have to use your strength with your hand, but for me, that is now easy. So that part goes on there. <laughs> this part here, part B, although there's nothing on it to indicate this part B, you just got to work it out from the shape goes on the top there and if the bottom sticks out this sticks out as well in the same way and you do all this before you put any bolts in because this is going to line up inside and as you can see it there 
lining up that screw there. So we're now going to bolt the bottom on in the same way as we... Hang on, I'm putting it in here. One of these. You feel me? Now I've done it. Good. Tighten that. There we go. We've locked nut and shaped washer, curved washer. And it Steps one and two parts together, as shown in this diagram here. See how we. So that's the feet. Yeah, that's the base. Hey, I've got nothing for you. Snowball. Something's wrong here. That is. Oh, that We've only got two in, haven't we? Hang on. Oh, yeah, it's got a net in it. That's going to be at the top. Right, thank you. Now we're putting on the actual trampoline itself with the springs. And the instruction says to be very careful that this arrow here aligns with one of these poles here, which is what we've done. See. That's all. <laughs> so these hook these springs, you need to do it at four opposite sides, yes? right angles each way around the circle to start off with or you'll get in a terrible trouble if you try to do them all from the same side you won't be able to stretch them to reach the other side once you've done that we had to take out half of ours because we got it wrong but now it's okay. Birdhouse. Yeah, that girl, we were on her trampoline. It was really fun. Nearly done. <laughs> All we have to do is do this and tighten a little bit of these things. Oh, a monkey! <laughs> Wait, monkeys? Do monkeys jump?
na. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're making it so deep. Trying to get up, didn't you? Wait, no, is it? I can do 12 seconds. Yeah, sure. That was not 12 seconds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you would notify when there's a new upload. Ow. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>